So this is another video donated. Well, not video donated. I got a donation of one dollar twenty-five cents by anonymous who asked me to do another one of these uh, "What's in my fridge" videos because he was interested. So here we go, and you're you're in luck because we kind of recently. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong one. I want to go up. Uh, recently bought some shit. So here we have eggs. Behind that, uh, there's some carbonated water and a soda that we get when you buy uh, pre-made food. It, in it includes a drink, so those drinks, put them back there when we need them. Some bone broth right there, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> some bone broth. And three pieces of bacon and steak flesk, which is basically thicker bacon. Uh, two unsalted butter, one normal salted butter. Shredded cheese, uh, Red Bull sugar free. Uh, salmon balls in. Uh, fuck, what, what is hummer? In English. In lobster, I think is what that is called. In lobster sauce. Some cream. Creme fraiche. And these two are mayonnaise. Tuna. And either crushed. I think it is crushed. And something else. Tomatoes back there. This right here is varmröft, which is um, warm, basically this is smoked fish. Uh, sill, which I don't know what that is called in English, but hey, that is what this is. Some... And this is chorizo, right? I don't know, it's some type of... Meat for sandwiches. Put that on the pizza. Here we have some buttered in cubes. So just take one of these things, cut them into cubes, put them in one of these. It makes it much easier to just take up and throw it on the pan. <laughs> Super little feta cheese. Some butter. Chicken that we're gonna make today. Two zucchinis right here, and assortment of pre-cut, pre-washed salads, and two mozzarella cheese. Oh god, and then some carbonated water right here, and these, oh yeah, that's also carbonated water with taste. And these two are sugar-free, no no calories drinks that you mix with water. One to nine. So one part of this, one part water. And then you get a tasty treat, I guess. Some milk, 3%. And beetroot juice. I love beetroot juice. And this this one and Kungmar Katta are like the two brands of Rödbets juice, beetroot juice that I really like. And I tasted this right here. I took one of these Miraculin, ber uh, Miraculin berries that ma makes all sour parts sweet. So the little bit of sourness that this has became sweet and holy shit this was so good i normally when i drink beetroot juice i mix it with around maybe 40 to 50 percent water to beetroot juice this i just drink straight up so good when with the miraculin because man it tastes so so good some shredded cheeses right here Sambal or lek, and this is tomato pesto. 
Um, this is linfra olia, which I have no idea what linfra is in English. Some hot chili ketchup. Uh, sriracha, sriracha sauce. And this is butter and rapsolia, which is butter and rapeseed oil. Um, bouillon, uh, basically stock right here. That, some syringes that I'm gonna get today. And that's that, oh fuck. Now go back. Ugh. Let's see, can I open this? Yes. Well, I know I can open this, but I was thinking, do I have to go back more so I don't hit? Let's see. Here's some vegan, juicy vegan burgers. They're good. Um, they're made from a mixture of a little bit of beetroot, some um, ator, uh, those green peas. peas. Thanks, mom. Peas, peas, pea protein, and mushroom protein. Here we have a chicken schnitzel and hamburgers. Not ham, yes, yes, hamburgers. Because these are not hamburgers, these are just burgers. And these two are hamburgers. A Brussels sprout, I love Brussels sprouts. Especially the way my mom makes them, which is just Brussels sprout with some. Is it butter or, or olive oil? Olive oil. Olive oil, salt, and onion powder, or garlic powder. Um, shrimp, shrimp that have been de descaled, but they still have their cracked, their tail. Some moose meat and just assorted greens, chicken sticks, and more assorted greenery. Some meatballs, and yeah, that's that. A bunch of good stuff right there. Then at the very bottom, some uh, thin breads, a bunch of chick and a chicken. This is fish, and these are all a red spetta, which I don't know what that is called in English. I think it's no. It, I think it's as. Through focus. There we go. That's the fish, Pleurenectes platessa. That's the Latin name. Translate that to whatever language you guys speak. And those three are that type of fish with different uh, fillings. This is spinach and feta cheese. The other one is um, shrimp and broccoli. And there's, there we go, with shrimp and, um, and asparagus. This is pulled peas. It's just imitation meat made from peas. A bunch of different meats there. Ground, ground meats, other meats. It's a bit too low for me, I can't reach it, so I'm not gonna try. And that's that. So yeah, thanks Anonymous for the donation, and there you go. Oy vey. But yeah, a little bit of bonus here at the end of this video. One thing that I forgot to mention, I think, was this right here. Because it was hidden behind something. It's salmon pate. There we go. That's another thing that was in the fridge. And then I want to talk a little bit about... Um, because these are mecobalamin. Are basically 
what I'm going to be taking, which are these things. I'm going to get this amount, I'm guessing, because this, as it says right here, this is just for a one time. So every other week, I'm going to be getting... I don't know if it's just one of these every other week for four months, or if it's all of them, then I have to buy one more of these to have in storage here at home every other week. Because these you have to order them, and then they come to you, and then you take them too. Um, Vort Centralen, it's not the hospital, it's... I don't know what the English word for Vort Central is, but... There and then they inject it into you. I mean, it says right here that... Oh no, it's a Yeah, I don't know if it's just... I'm thinking they're just going to inject one of these into me, not all of them. If it's just one, then this is actually a good price. Because this right here costs seven seven hundred and fifty one point forty eight Swedish kroners. And um, but I have I was at the moment for this month I was up to I think twenty five percent off or something. I the price for this is 751.48, but I think I remember I paid 632, something like that. 600 something is what I paid. Um, and to me, even if I have to pay that much every other week for now, that's fine because... Because they're so expensive, I would reach the limits. Because if you pay a certain amount in a small amount of time, you get something called a free card, meaning the medications for like a year or a bit longer. I think it's a year. Are they don't cost anything anymore? So that's fine. The problem I had with other medications is that. They never reach the um, the highest amount for that for that small period of time, so it would always get reset. Which in the end, over over a year or how long has it been now, like eight years? Yeah, for eight years, I've spent a fuck ton of money. But if I would have gotten something like this, I would have been very high cost for a short period of time i would have reached the limit and then i would not have paid as much as i do so yeah i want to say to the people who have been using my code down there for um j list the j list and the war color affiliate links actually paid for this medication for me so thank you thank you guys for that but yeah so even though it is expensive well i don't know how much this would cost in america though even though it's expensive if i only have to pay for it every other week um i'll be reaching my limit very fast because it's with the other medication i also take I'm pretty close to the limit already. I think it's just a lit a tiny tiny bit. Oh yeah, and it's also for recipes. It's not if you just it's not it doesn't count if you buy over the counter wait, is that the word? On recipe drugs are not part of this um system, which I think is good. So yeah, that's just something I want to put there at the end. 